When we think about the advanced technology that goes into building, maintaining and flying an aircraft, it's hard to believe that the first commercial air flight was little more than a hundred years ago. Things like drones and jetpacks, once thought to be the stuff of science fiction, have become our reality. Today, I'd like to introduce you to ornithopters, what they are and one Japanese inventor looking to revolutionize what we know about them. But before we get started, hop on over to our channel and subscribe for more videos about the latest emerging technological innovations. You can follow us on our social media accounts, links in the description box below. As I mentioned, commercial airline flights go back over a hundred years ago. But the history of aviation actually started with the Montgolfier brothers back in France in the late 1700s with the invention of the hot air balloon. From there, we moved on to rigid airships like Led Zeppelin's Huh, Led Zeppelin? Zeppelin. Fixed winged aircraft, the Wrights brothers famous flight, commercial airlines, space shuttles, wingsuits, drones, paper planes, you get the idea. But lately, one technology that's been on everyone's minds, and in everyone's hands, is the drone. Drones have exploded in popularity in the last few years, and it seems that the more the technology advances, the more accessible it's becoming. But what we want to focus on today is one specific type of drone-like aircraft, the ornithopter. Chances are you may not have heard of this particular flying machine, but the truth is, it's been around for a very long time. So what exactly is an ornithopter? Basically, an ornithopter is a type of winged aircraft that uses the propulsive power of wings in order to maintain flight, kind of like a bat or a bird. Leonardo da Vinci actually had some schematics for a device that uses wing power flight, but attempts to fly using wing power were perpetrated as early as the 9th century. And fast forward to today, and we have unmanned aircrafts ready to take the skies with just a flick of the wrist. Which brings us to Takanobu Watanabe. He's been working on something pretty amazing. It's called the Y-Fly, an ornithopter that uses weights to change its direction on command mid-flight and can even take off and land by itself. This device uses four wings instead of the normal two. And to conserve battery, it can glide towards its destination. Watanabe is looking into potential applications of this device in the future not just in recreation. For example, he envisions a future where the Wi-Fi can be used in traffic jams. Simply take out the device and get a view of the upcoming traffic ahead, or even scout an area out for you in advance. In addition to personal uses, he hopes that it can be used in times of crisis, such as aiding in a natural disaster. Being able to see an impacted area from a distance is becoming a crucial and necessary part of a disaster relief efforts. And with the precision turning that the Wi-Fi provides, maneuvering around tight and narrow spaces can provide a level of surveillance like nothing we've ever seen before. Initially, Watanabe had planned to showcase his invention at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. But he's had a change of plans and decided to showcase it at the World Expo 2025. So keep an eye out for it in five years. We actually had a chance to sit down with Watanabe himself. Check out the link in the description below or the card up above to see the full interview. As technology continues to evolve, we're seeing more and more ways that ordinary inventions can be turned into extraordinary ideas for the future. From ornithopters, to crying robots, to digital shamans, we are so excited to see what's coming next. Watanabe is one of the many innovators that we feature on our channel and over on our website. To see our full interviews, including Watanabe, be sure to check out our channel. And as always, be sure to like, comment and subscribe so we can bring more content like this to you. That's it for today. Be on the lookout for more content coming soon.